Hey guys, I want to try something new today, and that's responding to a comment or email that I have gotten. You see, I often get these uh, questions that sort of would do better if they were received by more people, because in many cases, they're the sort of questions that you get asked in your personal life too, and so I think that it could be advantageous. So we'll give this a try. This most recent comment that I'm going to respond to is a comment that I received on the recent video about Ireland and it passing hate speech legislation that even criminalizes the possession of hateful materials, you know, as determined by the government. All right, so the response says, you disagree with this legislation, so what's your alternative to try to control hate crimes against people who are repeatedly targeted with violence and discrimination? Why do you think it's okay to post vitriol against groups of people? Now, there are two questions there, all right? And, and again, I'm sure that you, you've heard variations of this before. We'll go ahead and target the first question first. Why do I think it's okay to... Uh, oh no, what's your alternative? Sorry. What's your alternative? I don't have one, because I don't think that hate crimes are a thing. Uh, and by that I mean I don't think that it should be criminalized for you to attack a person for a certain you know, characteristic, whereas not criminal in the other regard. So, if I were attacked by somebody um, because somebody overheard a conversation I was having and they didn't like it, versus I was attacked for being female, I don't think that the approach should be different. Because for me, the issue is that I was attacked, not the reason that I was attacked. I don't think it was okay to attack me for the conversation that I was having any more than it was okay to attack me for being female, right? <laughs> so that, that's one of the trouble, uh, one of the problems with hate crime legislation is that it assumes that it's okay to, or more okay, to attack a person in a certain regard versus others, you know? I disagree with that. I also don't want the government to determine whether or not a person is thinking a certain thing. I don't think that thought crime should be um, the case, and hate crime legislation inherently tries to determine what people are thinking, what their motivations are uh, when they're doing it. I, I don't want that. And the fact that somebody shouts something in the midst of an attack, whether it's a racial epithet or something else, doesn't mean that that's the reason they're attacking. People just say things in the middle of assaults. They say whatever they can to try and you know, offend the other person. That's the nature of it. And so having a, having a government body try and figure out, you know, the police try and figure out, well, what was the motivation? Does it fall under hate crime or not? It's, it's absurd. Just, you know, deal with the fact that people have done some moral evil and, and deal with that. The actual action should be what is criminal. And that is all. And then the other part of hate crimes is the, is the fact that you're deciding that some people deserve to be in a privileged class on the basis of some kind of cultural Marxism thing, and therefore they're especially protected. So you have the, the, the LGBT groups, right? You have various different races, which do not include white people, this kind of thing. They have particular protections. Why? Why, why in this sense would it be or would, would the LGBT community be especially protected? Because that's what it ends up being. Because then the person says, well, I was attacked because I was gay. Well, maybe you were attacked because the person just didn't like you because you had a, a personality that wasn't particularly likable. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but that's you, you end up getting into, into that kind of thing as well. And those people ending up having some kind of prioritization in society and a, an elevated sense of who they are and their, their wonderfulness. I, I think that the whole thing should be eradicated. I also think that uh, the, the fact that you can't discriminate, as they put it, against people of certain characteristics in business, I think that should be eradicated. For example, if, let's just say, in order to keep this like personalized, because otherwise people get offended, um, <laughs> if, if there's a, a black owner of a store and he doesn't want to deal with with white customers, and those people exist. Um, and he, I, I'm more than happy to not patronize his store. Like he doesn't want me to patronize his store. I therefore don't want to give him money. What's wrong with this picture? I, I actually don't see anything wrong with with the free market sorting that out. I don't. Um, so I don't. I'm not sure why you would want to force the opposite. 
actually. Why you would want to force me to give money to the person who doesn't want to do business with me uh, and therefore help his business. Or if you prefer the, the white store owner who doesn't want to deal with blacks, that's the very inverse of what I said. Do you, do you want to force the, the white person, the business owner who doesn't want to deal with the blacks to keep his mouth shut and not actually put the sign up or not actually, you know, is that helpful? You're just forcing the, 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 the black guy, I'm just say, to, to do business with somebody who hates him. I'm not sure there's a, there's a winner in this situation. These are all the different parts of hate crime legislation and um, civil rights legislation that kind of give the wrong net outcome. And then there's the second question. Why do you think it's okay to post vitriol against groups of people? Okay, um, which groups <laughs> would be my, my first response because most likely you probably think that at least some groups deserve vitriol. Like, for example, child rapists. Are you okay with me criticizing them? Probably. And that's just a group of people. The issue is that you're back to the same thing again of certain groups of people that you consider to be of great priority versus another group of people, right? So that's, that's the undertone, the unsaid thing in your question. But I think it's okay to pose ritual against groups of people because I think that truth is important. And I think that the only way that we can ascertain what truth is, is to engage in dialogue. So therefore that requires people being honest about what it is that they think so that we can have the dialogue, so we can have the argument, so we can have the conversation, so that we can hopefully come at some kind of source of truth. And that's been the way that the West has been built on these dialogues. The, the idea that you should just simply shut people up because they're offensive is, is counter to that very ideal, the ideal that we should search for truth, even if it offends some people, right? So that's the reason that I think it's okay to post offensive things, which is what you really mean. Um, I think it's the only way that we have a, a free and healthy society. The alternative is to live in a state of of lies over time because for example people learn certain things in the university uh, in their universities and they come out and have all these different wrong opinions and then nobody is able to tell them why they're wrong because somebody might get offended that's not the way that we build any sort of society that's the way that society implodes because it is no longer based upon reason and in order to use our reason we actually have to you know engage with other human beings and and find where where the truth is Hey, I don't usually tell people to respond in the comments, although they're always welcome to, but I would really like to know if you found this particular format uh, helpful at all and what you think of it. Thanks. If you enjoyed that video, please don't forget to like it. Also, I have other videos that you might enjoy. I have links in the description down below as to how you can support this work. So thank you so much.